You know, the Rambam says in his Sefer, he says, we know one of the, unfortunately, most common of Velot, says the Rambam, is Hirurim Ra'im, when a person has bad thoughts in his mind of uh, znut, of different disgusting things with boys and girls. It's one of the worst of Velot, and it's a very common Avera. So says the Rambam, how does a person avoid it? How does a person avoid having bad thoughts? How does he do it? So he says very simple. When a person's mind is empty, then all these thoughts come in. But when a person's mind is full, there's no room for the Yitzhak to come in in the first place. person has to keep on learning more Torah and be busy with more chassadim, more tefillah, more mitzvot. Come on, move, 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 move. Don't give a second to the Yitzhak, the chas shalom. boom. Come inside a person's mind and then the thoughts go on and on and on. That's what the Rambam says. Your mind has to be busy with Torah. That's why I always tell teenagers different places. You know, sometimes there's very good speakers out there, but they talk about the topic, this specific topic of, uh, of, the, of this specific sin way too much. Way too much. Okay, you know what sin I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about way too much. Now we, growing up in yeshivot, the rabbis never talk about these things. They hardly even mention that sin. As teenagers growing up, okay, as boys, they never spoke about it. What did they speak about was, learn Torah, learn Torah, learn Torah, more mitzvot, more mitzvot. The question is why? Why didn't he even speak about that sin? Because they knew, ultimately, the greatest weapon, and the only way you're going to succeed beating that sin, is when you learn Torah. When your mind is full, just learn, learn, learn. Let's say a person falls, a person sins, and it happens. Move forward, move forward. Keep on learning Torah. Don't let that Yitzhah get you. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.